All right, so now that we've seen the windshield wiper motion, let's go into the swing forward. And um, before that, I'm just gonna summarize what we did so far, like we always do. Waiting position with my tray grip, bringing the racket straight down and the left hand forward with the shoulder turn, bringing the left foot forward. And now, which is the step we're looking at right now, we're gonna start the swing forward. Very important when we start that swing forward that the windshield wiper motion starts right away. As soon as my arm starts swinging forward, the windshield wiper starts. And like I said, uh, we want the arm to move first and not the shoulder line. Arm goes first and as I finish into my follow through, that's when the shoulder is going to come back facing. I point out the arm going first because this is a very common mistake to see players and beginners trying to open their shoulder too early. And actually not only beginners, even at good level, when players are trying to create a little more power, you can see that mistake coming into play. So very important that we keep the shoulder turn as we get into the impact, as we hit the ball and finish into that follow through. Then we're gonna get that shoulder rotation. Staying turn through the shot is just gonna allow us, as you can see my racket is slightly facing down. Show you from the side how my racket is slightly facing down because my shoulders are turned. Now if I open my uh, shoulder line too early, this is how my racket is facing, slightly open, which now doesn't allow us to put any top spin on the ball, which means losing control um, I would say uh, it's hard to say if uh, you lose power or not because if you lose control and the ball is going out what we're looking for is a ball that goes in the court so it doesn't matter if you gain power from turning the shoulders if the ball is not going to be out right it's not going to be in sorry so very important the arm and the windshield wiper are going first now one way to verify that you do your windshield wiper correctly is that see once my set of feet and my racket is straight down how my racket face is facing the side fence and by the time I'm done it's going to be facing the opposite fence so you from this side it's facing this side fence then it's going to be facing the camera by the time I'm done now there is a little trick that beginners do also is not applying the windshield wiper motion so only getting the arm going my wrist stay locked and by the time they are done they usually remember oh i was supposed to do the windshield wiper motion and then they finish here but see that if my wrist is staying locked the whole time obviously the windshield wiper motion not being applied is not going to have the effect of putting the top spin on the ball and adding a little speed also to the ball so very important that the windshield wiper motion starts from the beginning in order to get the effect, positive effect of the windshield wiper motion and that we don't correct it just at the end. So here we, sw we saw the, the swing forward and for the next step we're going to stay in the swing forward just focusing on where to hit the ball, so the impact point. 